good afternoon grandkids uh, I wanted to do a little short vlog today after the Sun went down a little bit so it wasn't so hot out here um, I wanted to give you a quick update about the new uh, games my vacation will be over this coming weekend and uh, I really haven't had to, I haven't been able to stay off the PC as much as I wanted to. I keep making vlogs and stuff and I I miss talking to you guys. <laughs> I've worked on my quilt a little bit, but I've mostly and I've cleaned some house a little bit, but I've mostly been on the computer either making vlogs or reading my uh, bookshelf series or working on characters and getting them updated and so on. Today I made my first uh, video of a new series that will start Saturday. I wanted to tell you a little bit about that. Uh, Saturday's video is going to be a mini-series, so it won't really be very long, and uh, uh, probably just a few videos, and, um, and then Sunday, I'm going to have recorded a longer video, which will, it, a, a new series that it'll take a lot longer to play. The first one, the little mini-series, I'll go ahead and tell you the names of them. This one's going to be Inga the Shipwrecked. Because I wanted to try out that uh, starting in a new place instead of the, instead of the vanilla start. And uh, I saw I was shipwrecked in the list of ways you can start and I wanted to see what that was like and where it would put you and so I'm gonna play this girl Inga as though she was shipwrecked and then what she does I mean she will be penniless she won't have any weapons she'll be she'll have nothing she was shipwrecked so what does she do? How does she make her way? And uh, what does she do? So that's going to be that video. And that'll be Saturday. I've already made the first one of it. And it's I'm not going to role play it. I'm just going to play the game and uh, talk to you guys and comment about what in the heck she's doing and so on. It's going to be very hard for me not to role play, and I think, as I recorded that, uh, I did keep forgetting sometimes and talk as her, but I didn't mean to, and I corrected it as soon as I realized what I was doing. <laughs> but the one I'm going to make to start Sunday, a longer series, is going to be called The Alchemist. And, and Inga, uh, the shipwrecked, she's going to be a Nord female, but the alchemist is going to be a Khajiit female. And uh, it will be, I'll role play her, because she's going to have a lot to do. And I'm either, even eventually in the series, going to take her out of Skyrim to somewhere else and bring her back. Not Bruma, because I've already been there with Jerry. Um, the reason I wanted to do The Alchemist was because of those two wonderful books that was gifted to me by one of the devs who made my character mod. These are just so wonderful. Uh, I don't know if you remember what the inside of them looked like where he this person drew all these different uh, 
ingredients and told and told wrote down their effects and uh, a good place to find them and some best matches with other ingredients so I've got a lot of interesting things to do in, in the book number two was the some of the highest priced uh, potions that you could make so in this series she's going to eventually meet Lucian and uh, he will follow with her especially by the time she's ready to uh, leave Skyrim for a while and go to another country I thought he would really like where she's going and uh, and then she'll be back and continue on in Skyrim for a while. I also think I might pick up a young Khajiit follower and uh, role play her as uh, someone the alchemist meets and, and uh, sort of takes her under her wing and is training her to be an alchemist. Maybe to take over her alchemy stuff when she decides not to do it anymore. Some I have no idea. I have I haven't even considered the end of it. Uh, she has a little bit of a backstory, but it's all good. Nothing bad. She had a good childhood, so her backstory is really short. Just the beginning of her story, and then it goes on in that first video with her story. So, let me see. Uh, oh, the other thing I wanted to tell you is, uh, remember when I showed this photo in one of my uh, mail and gift opening vlogs? This, this lady that made that for me, because she knew I loved trees, sent it to me and she said that I could use it on merchandise if I wanted to. So yesterday, no, maybe this morning, I forget already, um, I made some more merchandise with that on it. I've got a t-shirt. They all had to be white things because this is white and uh, it looked really strange. On a, like on a colored t-shirt here's this big white square in the middle of it with so I just left it on white things it's on a t-shirt a women's t-shirt and a and a unisex t-shirt which would more likely fit a guy and uh, and it's on a slip on hooded long sleeve sweatshirt and uh, I made I made a some stickers. I think I think the pack comes six six sticks or stickers in a pack. I can't even talk today. Um, and I, I think I'm going to go back in there in a, a day or two and uh, take that grandma's bookshelf logo with the with the bookshelves in the middle of it off of the tote bag. I mean, I'm going to leave that there, but they seem to be having a problem of getting that tote bag shipped in. They said it's because of COVID, but I don't know where they're getting it from. Evidently overseas, I guess, but it's been a while since anybody's been able to order it. And uh, because it kept saying out of stock. I don't know if you can order it now or not. Uh, no one has said anything to me. I don't even know if anybody's going to the store. Nobody mentions it and uh, nobody checks under my, down below my videos and vlogs for any links I put there anyway. So, but the link to my merchandise store is down there and uh, the pictures are also across the top of the comment section underneath my videos. I don't know if these new ones have uh, 
been placed there yet or not. I don't know if it takes two or three days for them to do that or not. We'll just have to see. Um, anyway, I want to use that bookshelf logo and maybe put it on a t-shirt. And they've got backpacks that I can put things on. So maybe a backpack, uh, especially as it gets back to closer to this fall when people are buying school supplies, uh, that might be good to have that bookshelf logo on. Um, I'll have to think about that. You'll let me know in the comments what you think about that. And, uh, but I could put it on a t-shirt and I could put it on one of the long-sleeved uh, slip-on hooded sweatshirts. Um, I could make some stickers for that. Um, they really, the Teesprings, they really don't have that many different pieces of different merchandise to put things on. I, I was kind of disappointed. There's a lot of things I could think of that they don't have. Like for one thing, you know I always call Luigi my, my grand dog. And uh, someone suggested to me uh, putting uh, this is my other grandkid or something like that or good morning grand dog on a water dish but they don't have any so that's a bummer and I still want to make that picture of a road wandering up a hill with some trees on it either side and just skimpy sketchy and uh, a blue sky up ahead and <coughs> say something about <clears throat> Excuse me. Say something about wandering with Grandma. And uh, I could put that on a t-shirt and put it on a backpack. Uh, so I'll see how that... That's one of the things I should be doing while I'm off. Is making that picture. If I don't make myself a note about things, I don't remember to do anything. It's terrible. Uh, let me see. Oh, I was going to see if this reads backward or forward to you. Does that read forward? That bottom line? That bottom line is the link to my merchandise store. And my merchandise store is called Shirley Curry's Grandkids. So, if you want to pause that there and write that down, if you don't want to go down and look at the link, why, there it is. That new series, oh, in this Friday, I also recorded the last blog that I wrote in, in uh, Grandma Shirley's Skyrim, and uh, those blogs, blogs that I have read, that's the only ones I've written, and they were all done in 2019. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. So bad, but maybe I'll get inspired to write something in there. I just haven't been inspired, which is strange as much as I wander Skyrim. But so that's this Friday. I've recorded that also for you on Friday, and uh, so the next Friday I'll start some book in Skyrim again. And uh, I don't know at this time. I have it in my inventory, but I don't know at this time what it is. I'm flipping a bug off my table. Uh, I don't remember what it is. <laughs> but
when I've got the book set in my inventory, I know that. I'm so absent-minded about things and so forgetful about things. It is so beautiful out here today. I wish I could just, I could just walk around with you, but I wanted you to see all my hair. Let me see if I can do this. I want you to really see. around because I want to talk to you. Uh, what I've told you about 